Now, in this video, we will understand the difference between normal goods, inferior goods and different goods. See, your normal goods are those goods whose income effect is positive on the quantity demanded and price effect is negative on the quantity demanded. Means if your income has increased from 20,000 per month to 25,000 per month, you will be demanding more of these goods. Be it apparels, be it your you know daily usage goods or anything. These so these all come up as your normal goods. And the price effect is negative. What does this mean? This means if the price, as we did this example of samosa in the previous videos, this means if the price increases, your quantity demanded decreases. So there is inverse relationship. So these are your normal goods. If we talk about inferior goods, income effect is negative. These are those goods. Let's take an example of Rajasthan, right? In Rajasthan, rich people eat wheat and the poor people eat their staple food, bacha, because it's very cheap than your wheat in Rajasthan. So, if the income of, you know, a poor person increases, so he will shift from Bajra to wheat because his income is increased. So, why he will, uh, you know, eat Bajra? He will definitely shift to wheat because wheat is more better than uh, Bajra. Bajra is a poor quality food. Wheat is a high quality food, so they will shift to Bajra. So, with the income increases, the quantity demanded of the particular product, which is an inferior good, which is a poor quality good, decreases. Let's understand the difference between Giffen good and inferior good. See, Giffen goods are also a high quality inferior goods. Now, what is their difference? Income effect is negative. This is the same as inferior goods. Means your poor quality goods. Why will you buy if your income increases? You won't. You will shift to a better quality goods. If your income was low, you used to buy Colgate. Now, if your income has increased, you will be buying some medicated toothpaste or some you know high quality toothpaste with charcoal and different different brands that are more you know uh, of uh, higher price than the colgate is so this is the example of income effect income increases your quantity demanded for poorer goods or low quality goods decreases so this is how the same as inferior goods the income effect is negative but when we come to the price effect see i told you the example i gave you the example of best rice right or let's say i gave you an example of green tea the green tea was costing rupees 160 500 grams right so this was a very poor quality I told you if the 500 grams of different, you know, brand gives you 300 rupees per 500 grams, and one brand is giving you that green you only just rupees 160. So, this is a low quality or given goods. Now, the same brand, this is brand A, this is brand B. Now, if the same brand offers 500 grams of green tea at rupees 290 and giving it a name premium green tea. So what will be its effect? With the rise in the price, you will find that this is a premium green tea. So this has a more good quality or better quality than what uh, they were giving in just rupees 160. So what you will do, you will shift your purchase from this to this because that is for 300, it's the same quality. 
different brand now brand b has taken out their premium green tea at rupees 290 so there is a 10 rupees gap between two and you're getting the same quality so you will buy this product so if the price of this you know low quality good rises the quantity demanded also rises people think that the quality has increased the quality has improved so they will start buying it more so this is the difference between your normal good your inferior goods and your different goods